Let's have a listen to a few of the different reverbs. Hi Luke from Korg here. I'm here at GAK and we're looking at the new Minilog XD. This is the evolution of our existing Minilog which is continuing and what we've done is we've added a few features from some of our other analog synths into the mix. So for instance from the Prolog we have the multi-engine so that's a digital oscillator which we've added to the two analog oscillators already in here and then we've got 16 step sequencer which we had in the Minilog but now we've got the 16 buttons brought over from the monolog as well as the micro tuning. We've increased the size of the OLED display. We've also brought across the stellar effects from the prolog as well to bring it into this kind of nice form. And we've got audio outputs, uh, stereo pair now as well. And a new joystick, which we'll talk about in a minute. So it enables us to do a massive variety of sounds. Um, for instance, uh, we've got this nice analog kind of So you can hear the quality of the analog sounds there and the lovely effects as well. Now the multi-engine, a um, little bit misunderstood sometimes. So basically what it is, it's a digital oscillator which allows um, different kind of sounds to complement the analog oscillators, but also it's got a user aspect to it as well. So people can load in their own oscillators to really put the unique stamp on the Minilog XT and of course the Prolog as well. So um, we've got this kind of sound here and then by just changing the waveform here in the multi-engine you'll hear some of the differences so it starts to be sound quite FM you've got all different types of um, sounds We've got a new joystick on here as well. So on the mini log, you might remember it was just a, a single joystick, which was at an angle, but now we've got an XY joystick. So it gives us a little bit more flexibility to play. So on the Y axis, we can assign a parameter in both directions. And of course you only got pitch. So it just gives you a lot more control over the sound in real time, especially for performing, it's really useful. We've got a new filter in here as well, again, taken from the Prolog. So in here, we've got a drive circuit um, and we've got a little bit more low end available to us as well. So um, we've got a sound like that if we stick some drive on it. it quite hard. Got an arpeggiator as well, so the voice mode allows us to specify whether it's a polyphonic sound, a unison sound, a chord, or in this case an arpeggio. So I'll just arpeggiate notes that I play and then the voice mode depth is the type of uh, arpeggiator pattern that we're dealing with. What's really nice about having the arpeggiator and the step sequencer is the fact that you can then combine the two so you can have an arpeggiator pattern on each step and if you play at a very s slow tempo you can get these lovely evolving kind of patterns with lots of chord changes which change over time. And of course we've still got our OLED display so you can get that visual feedback about what you're doing and watch the sound changes as it opens up 
get more spiky waveforms or smoother waveforms, the softer kind of sounds. So we talked about the effects a little bit already, so I'm just going to give you a couple of examples of some here. So. Got a nice pad. So we've got three blocks of effects. So we've got modulation effects, reverb effects, and delay effects. So if I stick that up to modulation now, um, and it's already on, but we can change then the type of effect from ensemble through to things like phasers, flanges, and then you've got your real-time controls here for the time and the depth. Or what's really handy is if you just want to kill the effect, you just turn it off. And you can then A and B it with and without your effect. Really, really useful. Let's listen to some of the other effects. We've got great uh, delays in here as well. So we've got a pattern here playing in the sequencer, and it's actually using a, a BPM delay to give you that illusion of kind of a, a busier pattern than that's actually happening. So you can hear that playing through. Let's turn off the effect. So it's quite a static sound without that. Bring it back in. So you can hear that, that, that the, these effects can um, add a lot to the sound. And of course you've got your reverbs as well. Some fantastic reverbs in here. So again, something like this. Go on to rever reverb. Let's have a listen to a few of the different reverbs. Plate reverb. Room. Early reflection. Space. And of course you can... Alter. Riser. Submarine, so lower frequencies. Horror. Or just regular hall. So there's lots and lots of different types of reverbs and they're all stellar quality and of course you've got your hands-on control there to, to do what you want. Of course we've got a step sequencer built in as well as you've been hearing. So what's nice about that is that you can have a pattern playing. If you press motion mode then you can see if there's any motion been drawn in. So you can in real time sweep in a parameter just by hitting record and moving your knob there. But also, you can also uh, step in per step a parameter, which is really useful for stuff like this kind of thing. So, you can get all these kind of, almost like drum effects. And then if I press motion mode, you'll see for that snare sound, that particular parameter there has been opened up just on that step. So if I want to add, add, a, add something to a different step, I just hold down that step tweak out something and there it is straight there on the screen so that's the Minilog XT amazing new synth um, it's got uh, the multi-engine from the Prolog in there as well as your two analog oscillators we've added a stereo output we've changed the joystick new OLED display fantastic effects of course you've got your expanded sequencer and the breadth of sounds you can get out of this thing is absolutely incredible so you should go and check one out uh, I'm just going to play you out now with a little sequence, which is really nice. Um, I hope you enjoyed.